Hi everybody, welcome back to Pro Tools Music Production Lessons here at Educator.com. Expand 2. In this lesson we will take a look of second virtual instrument in Pro Tools called Expand 2. In this instrument introduced on earlier versions of Pro Tools as Expand and upgraded on Pro Tools 8th edition and now we have it since then as Expand 2. Expand 2 makes its sound by playing back patches, which are combinations of four parts. There are 1200 samples comes with Expand and there are over 2000 preset patches in the instrument, which are all combinations of parts. First of all, when we take a look at our instrument here, if you turn the Expand on, of course, the way we choose our instrument, we go to the plugin window. We didn't do that on uh, on the boom when we were go going over, but that's how we get there. These are all stereo instrument tracks. You go under instrument on under multi-channel plugin, and you could see your virtual and third-party uh, plugins, virtual instruments, samplers, everything. Expand right down here. Select it. So once you select that, that channel is assigned to this uh, instrument under your inserts. Same thing we did with the boom, but I don't think I showed it, assuming it's something basic that you all know. But if not, that's how we get the instrument up and running. At this point, I have the factory default sound. this beneath the waves it's one of the bright pads automatically is on so there is really a lot to talk about on this instrument but I'm just gonna go over some of the basics so we can uh, we can actually take a look how we we can use presets which there are so many right here from pads to brass from arpeggios to strings and vocals and loops there's just so many things going on under this thing i used expand to a lot writing uh t cues for tv shows and a couple of episodes um it's it's really a great instrument first thing we're gonna do is a little bit take a look at this instrument first of all we can assign up to four different sounds here that we're gonna talk about then we can actually change their levels. We can pan and use their effects level um, all differently. We got our master up here. Um, first thing, I would like to just go on some presets here uh, on this menu, which is called librarian menu. The menu that we usually go to select our uh, patches at that point or select our sounds this one called librarian menu if you go over that it already shows that's not the only way to bring the sound up but I'm going to talk about that in a second let's go here and let's say we were looking for um, a lead sound so you have a choice of soft lead or hard lead so depending on your arrangement if you go here and choose the very first one, a phaser lead, so it's, it's one sound. It's a pretty cool sound. We can go to the plus sign to the go try the next one. As you know, the lead sounds, we cannot really apply multiple notes. A, these are... So if I press like C and E, at the same time, I'm going to be hearing one of them. That's one sound. And when I switch to this third option, as you see, there's two instruments here. But instrument A is active and B it's not. So if you want your sound, if you want to audition your sound, both of them are on, you just turn it on. We 
let's say you like that sound but the second sound you added is a little bit too much so maybe we can you can bring this one and let's say you want to pan this one a little bit here and the organ real thing a little bit on the right you can add effects here if you like you can transpose your notes after your or before you're writing you can go part transpose as a semitone you can go up and down there apply those um, there are a couple of other playing option arpeggi arpeggiation option I believe this one some stuff that I haven't really used it too much like these ones but going over the instrument uh, I'd like to talk about the smart knobs a little bit uh, this is kind of important but before we talk about that I'd like to continue a couple of other sounds let's keep on going here and vintage synth lead okay that's cool we can audition thousands of sounds here if you want the guitars we go under guitar if you want to go to strings there's so many string options look at that we have so many loops and so forth what would be another way of choosing let's talk about that we went to the librarian menu the other way to choose that it's going to this little uh, plugin setting selector press on it I am on the vintage right now under the soft lease you can choose this is under the soft lead you can choose anything that you want as we were choosing like on the librarian menu if you're still after a lead sound then maybe we can go and choose here another lead and it's that lead right now we can you can just technically go and choose whichever one you want and it will show you right here up there what you're using there's something called Marvin let's go back to this vintage synth sound I kind of like that one this is another way to do it and as soon as you press down most people I know use the librarian menu drop down menu looks like our insert window a little bit and uh, it's kind of more more common in a way to select 